Oh, hi guys, it's Alex here. Uh, with just a short video about the difference between Kudani and Rapid Content Wizard. I've had a few people uh, email me and ask me what the difference is because they bought Kudani or were thinking of buying it um, and got confused about the, the difference between that and Rapid Content Wizard. I understand the confusion. They are, on, on the surface, very similar, but actually they are rather different and serve different purposes. So I hope this video will explain what that difference is. So uh, let me start with Kudani. I won't go through all the features. I, I uh, did cover them in a previous video, um, but I do really, really want to focus on the key elements of Kudani and how they compare with the key elements of Rapid Content Video, um, <laughs> Rapid Content Wizard. So uh, the key the key tabs for Kudani is uh, publish and. Uh, well, actually, publish uh, the and and um, opportunities. So, with with publish, what what you're trying to do is essentially uh, curate content. So, it makes it as easy as possible for you to create content, to curate content, and the end result of what you get from Kudani is good quality, or should be good quality posts, articles. Uh, which you post to your blog, and this will be your your your, your main um, your main blog, your main money making blog, where your where quality is very important for you, and it uh, it so basically enables you to create good quality content uh, rapidly, and the way it does that is it provides you with a number of feeds. Well, you define what the feeds are, so these would be uh, other blogs or sites, uh, and it helps you find those. You, you can use keywords to find appropriate uh, uh, keywords around which to do your promotion and search to find appropriate blogs and or, or, or feeds and then the key is you, you find feeds you can you know, open these up, there's, there's some examples you click on them uh, and there's possible content that you can curate You the screen looks a bit small because I've kept it small for the Recording, but it's, it's it's more convenient when you, when you got it running full size. Um, but you get the source of the of the post here, and you can take elements of it, copy and paste them into here, which is going to be your blog post. Um, it does some sort of clever things like put links back to the origin originating source, which is right. You add your uh, expert comment about the the post, so you're you're adding value. Uh, you can do whatever other editing you want, put uh, multiple bits of content in from different sources, obviously a video and or, or an image or both. And then the key thing is once you've done that, once you've created it, you've added your metadata and everything else, uh, you you post it. You publish it. So there's so remember this, this is the, the, the publishing capabilities of Kudani are you create the post and then you select your blog, uh, the category and you can post or you can post it sometime in the future. Publish it either immediately or as a draft. So the key point is that what Kudani does, it, it helps you create good good quality content. You've still got to do a bit of work. Uh, and then you, you post it to a, one, to, to a blog, and you can publish it sometime in the future. Um, there's posts that it can help you track the posts. It can help you create infographics. Uh, the other thing is it will also help you find sites so as well as the post, it will help you create backlinks of the posts by doing blog commenting uh, or finding places where you can do guest posting. So there's there's facilities for help to help you find appropriate places to do the guest posting and the blog, blog commenting, <clears throat> and it will <clears throat> it's quite a nice feature to find the the contacts for the places that you that you identify. So that's the essence of Kudani. So keep in mind that it is for for creating good quality posts you put some effort into creating the posts um to and it's for your main blog where you're concerned with quality okay so now we'll look at rapid content wizard and see the differences i'm afraid i can't show you the whole thing in the screen if i just move up a little bit you'll see the upper section so up here you can see the different options and it, you, you get these different options depending on whether you choose uh, which of these tabs you use. 
but the main thing really is the stuff going down slightly lower on the screen well I'll show you the upper bit later on so the key here is what we're doing is we're creating articles automatically uh, the benefit of that is obviously it's automatic the downside is you're not going to get the same level of quality but let's have a quick look you've probably seen this on the video but I'll quickly just show you how, how it's done you type in some keywords so let me say for example let's say picture frames uh, and you can select which places you want to draw content from and you can set these various other parameters. We won't bother going through those, but then I can just say, uh, oh, okay, let me move up a little bit. And I'll say, what, I, what do I want to create? Do I want to create an article, video, Amazon, Yahoo, or bulk create? We'll look at bulk create in a minute, but I'll just say I want to create an article. So it's now doing that, and you can see it's loading the content from various of those sources. I'll pause the video while it does that. Okay, it just took a few seconds to do that. So it, you can see it's sort of similar to content curation in that it's actually drawing content from different sources. But what you're not doing is you're not attributing the, the fact that you're using information from those sources because you're just basically taking one little paragraph from different places and just sticking them together. So what's going to happen as a result of that is the, the quality of the text in each individual paragraph will be obviously dependent on the, the quality of the whole article from which that text was taken from, which could, you know, it might be perfectly good, it might be you know very you know high quality uh, text, but it is just one paragraph. What you're not going to get in general is uh, the sort of continuity and logical flow between the paragraphs. In some cases that may matter, in other cases it may not. But that's the balance between getting something automated and getting something where you have to put some effort in. Now, you can use the editor to go and adjust this and, and make it into something higher quality if you want, um, but that's up to you. You've, you know, you, you've actually created a, a, an article and you can do Copyscape. You've got to get up a, you've got to set up a, uh, an account with Copyscape. But if you do that, then you can actually find out how unique that article is. And they claim it's between 75 and 100 percent unique usually um, or you can do some spinning to make it more unique you can obviously add thumbnails you can add a video you can add an image and so on but the point is we've automatically created the article and then we can just go ahead and post it uh, and where would we post it to well first of all we, we can uh, save it or we can save it as html uh, and, and various other features you can you can do, but uh, the main thing we obviously want to do is is maybe then post it. And there's in here you would have the websites, your your various URLs for your blogs. You can select the ones that, are, uh, that you want to post it to, and it will then post that article. So that's the that's the, the content creation. Except for one other thing, I just wanted to mention is in sorry content building is bulk create. Again, this is the sort of thing you obviously can't do with Kudani. So you can say uh, whether you want to have an image, video, laser target, and so on. You can say how many articles you want. This is for the same keyword we had before. Uh, and you can click, and it will create five articles or 50 articles and save them onto your hard drive. So you can bulk create articles and save them to your hard drive. Uh, so that's the creation. Then, when we come on to the posting, uh, well, we, we've looked at that, you can do uh, rapid whiz, where you can just give it a, a keyword, the website, and it will just post it, it will create the article and post it straight away. There's various things you can do with layouts, which we won't go into. This is really interesting, campaigns. You can s give it a whole collection of keywords, set up the parameters, uh, click auto-generate, select uh, article location I guess if you want to pull the articles in if you don't want to auto generate then you've got a set of you choose a folder on your hard drive and it will take the articles from that folder or it can auto generate the articles that's the op option then you can say how frequently you want them to post uh, the number of articles to post each, uh, on each occasion I guess and whether you want to them spin, whether you want to post them as draft or not. Anyway, the point is, oh, and, and the, the website you want to post them to. So you can set up a campaign to create 
a, ho a whole set of articles, one per keyword, and post them to a website, and that's it. So once you've set up your domain, you've done your keywords, you can just set this going, and over a period of time, everything will be created and posted for you completely automatically. That's the key difference between Kudani and Rapid Content Wizard. Bear in mind, you're not going to get the quality with Rapid Content Wizard. And then there's various other things. There's uh, schedulers and pingers and so on. But I hope you get the difference between the two. Now, do you need which one is best? Do you need one or the other? Well, it just depends on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to create a, a high quality authority site, then definitely don't use Rapid Content Wizard. Or if you are going to do it, then spend a lot of time reformatting, reorganizing the content till you've got something unique and meaningful. Uh, but basically, you're, you're probably better off under those circumstances using Kudani to rapidly create good quality content that, that uh, by using curation. But if you're wanting to create a, a, a whole number of websites, you're not really concerned about the quality, uh, you just want to get something up and ranked and a lot of, lot of content up there very quickly, then Rapid Content Wizard is pretty much your best option. The, the, other, thing, the other point to say is that if, you, if you've got a quality website, one of the good ways of sending traffic to it is to have links to related websites. So you could use Rapid Content Wizard to create a sort of uh, related websites that are drawing traffic and then passing that traffic on to your main your main blog, and then it doesn't matter if those if those websites get uh, get delisted by Google. You don't really mind because you can just create new ones. What you don't want to do is is to get your main website delisted. So that's the way you can use both of those tools together so that they, they serve different purposes uh, and they're both uh, very good at what they do. The last thing I want to say, because I also had a question about uh, upsells and so on, you get with, with Rapid Content Wizard, the, the main program gives you, I think, the ability to send content to five websites and you can use the software on one machine. There is an upsell. The upsell costs $47 which may seem quite a lot, but you, you get two things. First of all, you get the, what do they call it, the platinum, the ultimate. Anyway, you get the, <laughs> the, the upgraded version of Rapid Content Wizard, which allows you to post to as many websites as you want, as many blogs as you want, including obviously your client site, so you can have this as a service for your clients. And you can have the software running on up to three computers, which means you can give it to three outsourcers to do the work for you, or two outsourcers and run it yourself as well. In addition, though, you get a tool which uh, does um, syndication of the content. This is a plugin that goes on your website. This is another of Sean's tools. You get a plugin that goes on your website, which uh, normally costs sixty-seven dollars. So he's including that in the upgrade for forty-seven dollars, um, and that does syndication of content. You, if you buy it, you'll 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 see that. If you don't want to get that syndication tool, then go for the downsell on that, and you'll just spend. It only costs you $27 to get the upgraded version of Rapid Content Wizard without the syndication tool. So that's that's entirely up to you. By the way, there is another, a, a third upsell, uh, if, you, if you go through there, of two tools of his, that, like another two tools of, of Sean's, um, which I personally wasn't convinced of the value of, so I didn't get those. I got, obviously, the, the first upsell and the the syndication tool. I thought that was quite good. OK, I hope that's been useful and you can see the difference between Kudani and Rapid Content Wizard. If you've got any questions, just shoot me an email. OK, thanks, guys. Bye bye for now.